On this episode, we're talking about how to bring visitors back that have bounced off of your website. Rob from St. Louis asks, how can I bring website visitors back to my website after they leave? Rob, that's an awesome question because 52% of all of your traffic in the limousine industry bounces. That's the average bounce rate according to Google Analytics that we see. That means a visitor is hitting your website and they're leaving without taking another action, typically in less than five to eight seconds. So there's really, the number one thing that you can do is create better freaking content. Stop selling your shit, stop selling your cars and solve problems for the people that are visiting your website. Most importantly, send people, if you're doing AdWords, if you're doing Facebook ads, if you're doing search engine optimization, stop sending them to your homepage and start sending them to specific pages that they will actually have an interest in based on the content that's in your Google AdWords, based on uh, you know, the, the title tag and the meta description in your SEO, based on your content in your Facebook ad. But there's nothing, you'll never have a 0% bounce rate. So the best thing that you should be doing to bring people back to your website is make sure you drop a Facebook pixel onto your website and start creating some retargeting ads. So that way when I visit your weddings page, boom, literally within about 30 minutes to an hour, I'm getting served with your wedding retargeting ad from Facebook. I hit your airport transportation page, boom, I get the airport transportation retargeting ad. Now, you can do that one of two ways. You can either do it through the Google network or you can do it through Facebook. I believe that Facebook is a better route for most of you because a lot of you don't have the budget to be able to spend on Google retargeting and Facebook costs about a third less or about a third of what it costs using Google. So Rob, make sure that you implement those tactics. You'll be able to bring those visitors back. And the last thing I'll leave you with, it's really cool because every person that visits those individual pages, when you're building, when you're using the Facebook pixel is building a custom audience that then you can market to later. So get that stuff implemented, Rob, let me know how it goes. And I'll see the rest of you on the next episode of the Ask Limo You Show.